What up, what up? It's your man, 100 Days of Summer. I wanted to do a video for y'all because last night I went to see um, the Black Panther, so I wanted to do like a review of that. But not something with no spoilers. I ho hopefully it's no spoilers in this. And if I go through this and it's spoilers, I'll just put that shit in the title or whatever. But last night I went to see um, Black Panther at like a fan of, It was like an early, one day early fan event at Symark and um, that shit was good It and, and it was in 3D and I hate 3D because when I watch with the glasses and shit it make my if, if it don't make my head hurt make my head feel funny some bullshit something always happen when I'm watching it with 3D but this shit was amazing I don't know if 3D the new glasses or the new technology then came up or what whatever the fuck but it was amazing yo and I, it's like I like Marvel shit I like the Avengers Marvel shit the Iron Man shit but I, ain't, I don't like the Wolverine or the X-Men Shit, all that is they don't they don't do it right. So I don't know if um yeah if I maybe I just don't know the other storylines well enough. Oh, and Spider Man shit right, but this Black Panther was like uh next level in the sense because the movie done made so many waves already before it even came out. It's done set so many standards and records and all that already. And then of course you know on opening nights across the world it's setting records and stuff. So that's great, and uh, of course. It's a black superhero. That's one. I mean, we have other black superheroes, right? But it's a black, uh, it's a black, dark skin superhero who is the main character, the the lead role. It's cat and the dogs fighting. So it's a black superhero lead role, not bald, but got you know hair like mine. You know what I mean? And is from Africa with an African accent and all these types of things. What people don't, it's, it's like a lot of people don't understand one of the magic, the real magic of Hollywood is the, is the, what the images it paints in people's minds because people live from there. So now it's about to be little kids running around singing, saying Wakanda forever. You know what I'm saying? Talking with an African accent, wanting to wear the Black Panther mask and the Black Panther claws and be Black Panther for Halloween and. You know, Black Panther is going to be some of these kids. Is some of the is going to, some of these kids is going to be the very first superhero they ever see. They're going to want to be Black Panther for the rest of their life. It's going to be their favorite superhero. Like for me, example, Wolverine is mine. You know what I mean? I relate to Wolverine. Now these other people is going to be relating to Black Panther and and all that. And the and the women, the when you see the movie, there it's like a even though he's a king or whatnot, the there's a crazy matriarch. Uh, it's like the women of it are just as strong and they're, they're protectors and they're warriors and they're fighters even better than some of the men. So it's like the images and these women are bald, you know, some of them are bald and some of them have natural hair, but they're all dark skinned women. The majority of them are all dark skinned. The majority of people in this movie are, are, are that are main characters are dark skinned. That just sets a, a image in people's minds that they're not used to seeing that, that um, will change the way this generation that was introduced to this movie is going to see dark skinned men from now on with my type of hair. Um, the traditional sense people would see this and, and be intimidated or think, oh, it might rob me, whatever, whatever. But now some some kids are going to see a, a black guy with kinky hair and think uh, T'Challa. You know what I mean? They're going to think Black Panther. They're going to think, oh, that's what I want to be like. And I'm talking white kids, Mexican kids, Asian kids, everybody that watches this Marvel franchise is going to, that, that's what I love about it. <coughs> so, yeah, to me, that's, that's, that's the most important part about it. And I like how they did the duality of the guy straight from Africa and the one of African descent, but was really born in America and had a, you know, talk slang and was like, yo, and, you know, was on that type, basically a hood nigga, you know what I mean? It was like a hood nigga versus an African guy. And they were showing like the duality of that and how the African, you know, nature wants to this brother to reassimilate, but there's like a conflict. So when you see it, just keep that symbolism in mind. But yeah, man, that, I love the movie. I love the I love the standard that it set, and I just want to see where that progresses and how this generation of children and and even adults react to this new um, 
mental image that's been implanted in us through the magic of Hollywood. You know what I mean? So, thank y'all for watching, man. I don't know if my camera about to die and shit. I don't want it to die on me. So, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I thank you for watching. Leave a comment. You know, let me know what you think. If you saw the movie, let me know what you think or whatever. If you agree or go watch that after what I said, let me know what you think. All right, folks. Peace.